amazing so cheetahs giraffes and elephants can be found in the savannah this is pretty cool hmm that's why i love watching labtoons tv because i just get to find out about a whole lot of awesome things and educative content for children uh-huh. I mean, I've just learned so much today about the savannas. And you know what? I think I should tell my super special friends about this. I think that's a pretty great thought. <laughs> oh! Hello, my super special friends! Welcome to another exciting episode of TikTok! <laughs> I am so happy to see you. And I know that you're happy to see me too. <laughs> and so, today... We're going to be talking about Savannah. Yay! So what is a Savannah? A Savannah is a large flat area of land covered with grass usually with fewer trees they cover approximately 20 percent of the earth's land area the most famous stretches of savannah are in africa but they also occur in australia india southeast asia and South America. Some savannas are tropical and sometimes referred to as tropical grasslands. Some animals found in the savanna include buffaloes, cheetahs, elephants, giraffes, gazelles, hyenas, leopards, lions, ostriches, and even zebras. Savannas play an important role in our planet's health. They are essential for maintaining biodiversity, serving as habitats for a vast array of wildlife, and they contribute to climate regulation, helping to stabilize the Earth's temperature. Did you know that savannas can vary in appearance and characteristics depending on their location and climate? Some common types of savannas include Number 1. As mentioned before, tropical savannas. These are the most well-known types of savannas and are often found in Africa. They have different wet and dry seasons with long periods of drought. Animals such as lions, elephants, zebras and giraffes can be found in tropical savannas. Number two, we have the temperate savannas and these are found in regions with milder climates compared to tropical savannas. Temperate 
savannas, experience distinct seasons, including warm summers and cold winters. They are common in North America, South America, and Australia. Number three. Are you ready for number three? Cause here we go. Dry savannas. They are usually located in arid regions with low annual rainfall. The vegetation in dry savannas is based on drought conditions often dominated by drought resistant grasses and scattered shrubs or trees. Dry savannas are common in parts of India, Australia and Africa. Number four, we have floodplain savannas and these occur in areas prone to seasonal flooding like river banks and flood plains it is rich in nutrients due to periodic flooding which supports diverse plant and animal life the okavango delta in botswana is an example of a flood plain savanna. Number five, we have woodland savannas. These savannas have a higher tree density compared to grassland dominated savannas. Trees are often more evenly distributed throughout the landscape. They are found in regions with slightly higher rainfall, such as parts of South America and Africa. Number six, yes, coastal savannas. They are located along coastlines where the influence of salt water can limit tree growth. The vegetation here includes salt tolerant grasses and shrubs. They are common in coastal regions of Australia and South America. And now at number seven, we have mountain savannas. And these are usually found in mountainous regions which have unique plant and animal adaptations in cooler temperatures and varying elevations. Examples can be found in the highlands of East Africa, like the Ethiopian highlands. Would you like to learn some amazing facts about the savannas? Oh, yes! Number one, the largest savanna grassland in Africa is the Serengeti National Park in Tanzania and it is around 15,000 square kilometers in size. Number two, many of the animals in the savanna have long legs which help them when migrating long distances. Number three, the savanna has the highest number of herbivore animals of any biome and most animals migrate out of the savanna during the dry season. Number four, savannas can support a wide variety of wildlife from large mammals like the elephants to tiny insects and countless bird species. Then lastly, number five, savannas provide valuable opportunities for scientific research. 
Oh, wow. I mean, we have learned a whole lot about Savannah's. And now I can continue watching all my favorite Love Tunes programs. So see you next time. Bye-bye.